Okay, so if I want to solve this equation, there's a couple of things I can do in my first step. I can start by distributing this four into this bracket and also distribute this four into this one. And I can also change this into an exponent as well. Let's start with doing that. Two to the power of four is just 16. T to the power of four is just T to the power of four. In the bottom, I'll turn this into a nice large bracket with an exponent of one over three. And I'll also put this four into this bracket. So two over three to the power of four is just 16 over 81. And t to the power of four is just t to the power of four. Now I'll distribute this one over three into the bracket. So three times one over three is just one. The top, I can also combine the top t cubed times t4. That's just gonna be 16 t7. And t cubed to the power of one over three is just t because it's t to the power of one. 16 over 81. I'm just gonna leave that as 16 over 81 to the power of one over three. And this is gonna turn into t to the power of four times one over three is just four over three. And the next thing I can do is I can just combine all my t terms by subtracting the exponents. So seven minus one minus four over three. So I'll do that. 7 minus 1 minus 4 over 3 is just 14 over 3. And I just have 16 over 81 to the power of 1 over 3 in the bottom. Now, you could leave this as a final solution, but there is a different way to simplify it as well if you don't want to have a fraction in the denominator. So I'll show those extra steps as well. So I have 16 to the t to the power of 14 over 3 divided by 16 to the power of one over three over 81 to the power of one over three. I basically just split my exponent into these two. And now if you have a number divided by a fraction, you know that you can bring the bottom of the fraction all the way to the top. So this can be written as 81 to the power of one over three times 16 t to the power of 14 over three divided by 16 to the power of one over three. And then I can simplify these two by subtracting my exponents. So that's a one to the power of one over three times 16 to the power of two over three times t to the power of 14 over three. And this would be my final solution.